Hi sis, it's your girl Ty here with Asha and welcome back to my channel. Y'all already know y'all, okay? It is October, so we are planning or should have already planned, okay? I have already planned for quarter four, but if you have not planned for quarter four yet, then this is the video for you. I am pretty much just going to be walking you through my business binder my planner and just letting you guys see like full details inside of my planning strategy and if you're new here then you don't know but i have done a few other videos on this i like to do this video you know kind of quarterly um just to show the subscribers how to effectively plan for your business right because a lot of times we just throw business goals out there with no clear strategy on how to get it done so i'm going to show you my organization process my planning process my strategies etc on how to accomplish those huge business goals that we set for our small business if you are new here make sure you hit that subscribe button I do planning videos, business related videos, and lifestyle videos. But if this video helps you in any way, make sure you hit that um, like button. And of course, if you have any questions, make sure you put them in the comment section below. The link to all of my social media handles are in the are in the um, description box below. Uh, what else? What else? I think that's it. Let's jump right into the video. <music> All right, so we're just gonna put the Pure Life Planner all to the side again, and we will see her in a minute. But we're gonna start with the business binder. And I don't know what happened. I used to have like Pure Life stationery somewhere inside of here, but my daughter has like really been tearing up my office, y'all. Like things have gone missing, things are broken, papers are ripped up. It's a hot mess in here, so I'm gonna have to create a new one. But just to personalize your business binder, I do, you know recommend that you put something on the front so it's not as dull and as plain as this let me move my coffee it's super early in the morning so when you open her up i always have my manifestation here on this side it's pretty much just use loose leaf papers um if i ever need to you know just pull from it um to generate or brainstorm ideas make lists etc again my manifestation is pretty much everything that i want to accomplish in my business and not just within my business but the type of lifestyle that i want to accomplish through my business okay so what type of lifestyle is my business going to bring me i write it down and i make it plain and i make it happen my business goals these are like overall business goals okay so these are just like not just for pure life stationary but for long-term business ventures as well so my ultimate goal is to be into real estate and to own a nightclub my husband also wants us to have a few vending machines on deck just for you know an additional passive stream of income just in case something goes crazy in any of these other categories we always have something to back up and the vin and the vending machines is more so going to be for like our children's businesses this is all of my 2023 goals okay and then um so as you can see some of these i have already um accomplished such as you know applying for grants um getting approved for a paypal credit card um i've already increased my total conversions for the year and we haven't even reached 2024 yet so i am like really on a high right now so you really just have to break it down right so if you know that you want to reach a certain amount make sure that you write down the current amount that you have so that you can keep track of it and then as well as the number that you need because this is going to work for your strategy and then again this is the overall strategy right so this is the overall strategy that i came up with in order to reach my financial my sales goals and my awareness goals these are like the top three um goals that i have and the difference between these two so like finances is more like funding okay and like point of sale systems the types of you know accounts um that you get approved for business credit that type of stuff sales is like conversion so pretty much just increasing my overall sales within my business and then awareness is how i pretty much reach my target audience. So I kind of calculate my awareness based off of like followers, subscribers, inquiries, consultations, stuff like that. So again, this is just a general 
overview of the strategy. It's not very detailed at all. It's just saying, you know, it's just giving me some ideas on what on what I can do to increase these areas and and reach these goals within these areas. I get more specific when I get into the finance part, the marketing, the social media, stuff like that. So each one of these tabs will have very specific strategies in how I am reaching my 2023 goals. So um, this is quarter four goal. So as you can see, I already um, set, you know, so each each one of these, so I had quarter four, um, and then quarter four strategy, I had um, 2023, quarter three goals, and then the strategy, and then my overall goals, and then it just keeps going and going into quarter one. So I always have the most recent on top. You can organize your binder whichever way that you want. That $1,000 in revenue, like today is October 7th, right? And I am like... I'm already like $100 away from reaching that $1,000 revenue goal. I don't even know why I set that goal so dang on low because, baby, I am like really doing a damn thing in Paralyzed Stationery as well as, and the majority of my sales right now are really coming from my planners, of course and my services so if you are a sister who has a product-based business make sure that you try to convert that business into a service business and i did a video on that as well if i remember i will try to link that in the comments um but if not just browse my videos and that will be on there i think it's the passive stream of income video where i talk about like how to generate different passive streams and offering services is definitely a huge passive stream of income and it has generated a lot of money within my business um and then again for sales i want to get approved for that tiktok store so in order to get approved for the tiktok store i have to reach a thousand followers which is why i kind of like ooh, which is why i kind of um really zone in on the followers some people are like well followers doesn't matter for certain platforms such as tiktok knowing that you have to have a certain amount of followers before you can go live before you can get a tiktok store that is very very important so don't try to say followers don't matter like followers do have an impact and awareness i am going to be launching a master class probably around black friday or towards like the beginning of december for the public so make sure that you are following me again on social media to get all of that information about the upcoming master class i'm pretty much going to be breaking this down into showing you how to set smart goals and implement a different strategy for each of these areas pretty much what i did was when i set a overall goal for 2023 i break those goals down quarterly if i have like an awareness goal if i say that i want to gain a certain amount of followers so if i say i want to gain 493 followers that means that i'm breaking that 493 dot uh that 493 number down in four different sections so quarter one i have to get a certain amount quarter two i have to get a certain amount quarter three and so on so once so it's very very fine for you to set you know your yearly goals but the best businesses analyze and plan for their business quarterly okay and then just getting into some of these tabs um, i'm not going to go into all of these tabs because like i said the people who have been rocking rocking with me for a while now y'all have seen this video countless of times i really just wanted to get more detailed into like the actual planning and the strategic part of it for this particular video so again, let's get into marketing, right? So I said that I wanted to do a master class. Even though I said that I was going to do a master, like I'm not doing a master class for the public until like the end of November, early December, I've already have that mapped out, right? So because everything is, so everything is a strategy, right? So we know quarter four is big Black Friday, right? And again, I have my Black Friday campaigns mapped out. Um, my emails mapped out everything mapped out so my october emails i haven't printed i actually typed those up and i haven't printed those yet but i also map out all of my emails as well so everything is mapped out in this marketing section right so again my black friday is going to gain awareness right 
my Black Friday campaign is going to gain awareness. All of those people who I get from my Black Friday campaign, they're going to be added to my email list. So when I have, so when I actually launch any new product or any new sale for Black Friday, they are going to be the ones that's going to be on that email list, right? They're going to purchase my products. Then they're going to maintain themselves on my email list. And then when I launch my masterclass, I'm going to have those people to target to as well. So it's a strategy. You have to break it down. Don't just launch a masterclass or don't just launch an ebook. Don't, don't just launch a product or anything in your business with no clear strategy on how to gain new customers and cater to your current customers without a strategy. So make sure that you break every single thing down and that is how, and again, once I launch this masterclass, that's what I'm going to do. So I'm not gonna show y'all everything because I mean, y'all just don't need to, but, <laughs> um, and these are just like some ideas of sales that I may do. Um, I was just generating ideas. That's why they're off into the margins like this. I'm not really sure what my Black Friday sale is gonna be at this time. I'm really just gonna have to wait until November to see what my numbers are looking like. Um, I never really like pinpoint my sale until I'm actually creating like the flyers and the content and stuff like that um, to really say what the sale is gonna be. And then it's going to have like the dates. The dates are when I'm running the campaign through, the theme, my mission, the mood or the vibe that I'm going to be bringing off in that um, campaign, what my goals are. Um, again, with my goals, I'm breaking down my sales goals my and my awareness goals. Okay. Um, and then with different sales goals, I'm actually talking about how many products I want um, sold, how many uh and I'm breaking those products down. So how many planners, how many of my new product, how many of um, my old, you know, inventory do I want to sell? All of that. Um, and then, of course, I list my main products, my colors. And then of course I always have a timeline. So the timeline keeps me on track with everything that I need to do. So when am I creating the content? When am I posting the content? When is the sale gonna happen? When when am I gonna be processing those orders? When am I gonna be following up with people uh, with reviews and asking them you know, for their unboxing videos? When am I going to be analyzing the campaign? All of that stuff, even down to um, ordering my outfits, right? So I just ordered my outfit last night because that was on my to-do list inside of my planner. And then I generate content ideas. So I always talk about like what song I'm going to use, um, whether it's going to be reels. I even, you know, make a general synopsis of what I want that caption to be like. So really, really, really break down your Black Friday campaign because this is super, super helpful when it comes to actually launching that campaign and make sure that you are really zoning in on your target audience and then the same thing with um content really i don't really have like a lot of like content stuff in here like as you can see i haven't really put any like content in here since like july i do however map out my youtube videos and what i want those to look like um but these are just like content ideas that i'll just you know jot down but most of my content ideas like i kind of come up with on the fly so i'll just type them in my notes in my um in my what is it my iphone so now that we're done with the marketing and stuff i'm going to show y'all and slide this baby in how i actually implement this big strategy into my day-to-day -day routine right so this is the pure life planner and so let's just go with all right so you see like the monthly so each each um month starts off with the monthly dashboard right and this kind of just sets the tone and let me not skip pages so just like on here i break down my goals right i break down my goals into financial health career business home life, personal life, and then the changes required. I have a manifestation in here as well, but I already have it in my business binder. So I did not write it in there. And then every month starts off with a new quote. So in July, and notice that the tabs are not dated because it's a undated calendar, right? 
So that means you can start this planner whenever you want to. Boom. And then, so you see in July, my third quarter prep. And then let's see. And last, what, September, I was working on my quarter four prep. So my main focus is always going to be some type of quarterly prep. Or let's say if, if, Ju if July was my third quarter prep, then that means... Um, what's the name was implementing a, a routine to actually get that quarter four. I mean, to actually implement that quarter three strategy. And then just like September was a quarter four prep. Um, again, October is going to be implementing that quarter four plan. So I'm really focusing on zoning in on actually implementing these strategies that I listed in my business binder. And then I have my monthly calendar here where I just keep up with all of my meetings, um, due dates, stuff like that. And then my day-to-day -day routine, right? So I don't, I, I stop really like checking things off in my planner because I just, I, I don't know, I just like that clean look. But I have really been doing the damn thing this week. This is the first week in, um, the first full week in October. So again, um, I was supposed, I was supposed to have recorded this YouTube video yesterday, but it was Friday, y'all. I was beat from the week and I was like, I'm just going to do it Saturday morning. And here I am. And as you can see, just small things, y'all. If I said that I want to increase my TikTok followers, putting a to do, putting a task that says post on TikTok is what's going to get me there, right? It, it 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 doesn't have like when when people write in their planner, they think it has to be this immaculate mapped out plan where you have like very serious tasks. Like it does not have to be that deep, y'all. Just do little small things every single day that's going to get you to your ultimate goal. Again, as you can see over here, I saw I had marketing email. I needed to remind myself to send all of my invoices for my services to all of my clients. Um, right now, um, again, just documenting my consultations with my clients. Right now, I have a planner creation client. Um, I have website creation clients and I have content creation clients. So they are like really bringing in a lot of revenue within my business every single month, especially the content creation clients because those are like monthly payments. And then I really like to break down my day as you can see into hustle, home and healing. So hustle is pretty much anything business related, right? I don't really have to put my nine to five in here because at work I have my own nine to five planner. And then home is like really just zoning in on my family, um, things that, you know, things that I need to get done around the house. And then health is like things like that are really for me, right? This is for mental health and self-care. So podcast and then um, workout routines, reading my Bible, total wine. <laughs> These are the things that I need to do. And then of course, um, updating like personal finances, spreadsheets, all of those things. So your day-to-day -day should really be focusing on what you need to get done for the month. Um, and then your month it's focusing on like what you should get done for that quarter, right? So if I listed all of my goals within that quarter, each month I need to be working towards those goals. And then each week I'm breaking down those monthly goals and adding them into my day to day. So it's a build up in, in a breakdown, a build up and a breakdown. Make sure that y'all are on this masterclass because it's going to be very, very detailed. And then if you haven't seen what um, it looks like inside of my actual planner, if you're looking for a 2024 planner or even a quarter for a planner, because like I said, you can start this planner whenever you want to because it's undated. Um, it comes with, you know, your weekly layout. And as you saw, it comes with um, your undated monthly calendar, your financial plan. You have your monthly dashboard. So it focuses on like important dates, self-care, affirmations, your main priorities um, and your master to-do list for the month. You have a shopping list um, on your calendar page and again, your day to day. And then at the end, it gives you a monthly review. So you can talk about the things that you accomplished, areas of improvement, and then you can make notes here at the bottom. But that's it, y'all. I know this video, I try to like rush through it because people don't like watching long YouTube videos, but I want it to be as detailed as possible. 
I'm going to post my website um, in the description box as well. So make sure if you're looking for a 2024 planner or if you're just looking for a planner that can get you ready just for the fourth quarter, make sure you hit um, my website up because it will be there and I do have planners in stock. And you can have your planner within like one to three business days if you um, choose priority shipping. But thank you guys. I hope that this video was super helpful. Um, if you have any questions, again, put it in the description box. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button and follow me on social media. Bye.